in this video i'm going to be showing you three water productivity hacks that's going to help you to become more productive with your whatsapp my name is amari Bukwe, and recently i started this three series on water productivity this is what i titled water productivity series and in this series i'm going to be sharing with you my water marketing secrets that has helped me over two years now and some water productivity content that is going to help you grow succeed and earn from your whatsapp this series comes up every friday by 8 o'clock pm and this is the first training in the series so tonight i'm going to show you three water productivity hacks that is going to help you to be more productive using your whatsapp if you're ready for this training then you join me as we journey through the tutorial moving on to the very first thing i'll be teaching you in this video i'm going to show you how to pin more than three whatsapp charts on your whatsapp all right so you might be asking um why you need to this productivity hack or what you can use it for for example if you are a trainer who trains people on whatsapp i believe and uh, you have a lot of group that you use to carry out your different trainings and most times scrolling through chats you might miss some messages it might be so difficult for you or getting to the top of the search area to start searching for a particular group this really really will take your time okay but having to pin these charts on your whatsapp will make it easier for you to locate each and every one of them whenever you want to locate them and if you're someone who has signed up for different whatsapp trainings uh this will also be helpful to you this will also be helpful to you so that you can be able to um, assess most of these trainings and then if you're just an individual who have loved ones that you love chatting with okay in order not to miss any message from them or not to keep scrolling to your whatsapp each and every time you want to chat with them you can use this productivity hack to pin those charts so that whenever you need to assess any of them you just click on them and that is it you are moving straight away so these hacks work for both whatsapp and um, normal whatsapp and the whatsapp business right so but I'm using my WhatsApp business to show you this because that is the um, most active WhatsApp that I use. So I'll, I'm going to click on my WhatsApp business right now. All right. Right inside of my WhatsApp business, you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven charts pinned on my WhatsApp business, seven of them. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. All right. So normally when you get into your WhatsApp, you can only be able to pin three WhatsApp messages. So let's do that now. Just click on this one, these two, these three, and let me look for a, a chat that is not pinned and then i include this now and then i click on pin you will get that error message that say you can only pin three messages so how do i get over this like i bypass this pinning only three charts what i do is that i come and i select the already three messages that i have pinned for instance you have pinned three messages in your whatsapp okay this is what you should do you click on those three messages that you have pinned one two and three now when you click on them the next place you want to click is at this um, box here it is the archive it shows you archive charts all right this is where you're going to click now i want you to pay closer attention to what i'm going to be doing here it's very very important so you have to click here first of all this is the first step when you click here the next thing you want to do is to quickly had click on the very text had click on the very charts that you want to pin and then you click on pin and you click on on view that will come out here all right so if you don't understand what i'm saying just follow what i'm going to do now i just deleted the charts i have and then i'm pinning three charts now so that i can start from there to show you how this is done so all you have to do is to select the three charts that i've pinned click on the archive box I click on the text I want, then pin it and click on undo. You see, I have pinned one, two, three, four 
messages charts now so to do it again i just select the four charts that i've pinned and then i'll go ahead to click on archive again so i'll click on archive again i click on the one i want pin and then on zoom so right now i've pinned one one two three four five so to do it again i select the five that i have pinned and then i'll click on archive again i'll had click on the chart i want click on pin and click on on two so now i have pinned one two three four five six charts so to do once more let's do it again i select the ones i've pinned then click on archive and then i'm going to had click on the chart i want click on pin click on on two and that is it i have now one two three four five six seven eight charts that i have pinned so this is how you go about to pin if i want to pin more i will still had select them the ones i've pinned then click on archive click had click on the chart i want then click pin and click on two so this is just the procedure I have pinned right now nine charts here i have pinned nine charts here so this is how you go on and on you can actually pin more than nine ten thirty charts at a go you can pin them why you do this you have to be a little bit fast not too fast but you have to be fast why you select the charts you've already pinned you click on archive box then had click quickly had click on the particular chart you want to pin click on pin and click on undo just before the undo below the screen disappears just make sure you click on it and that way you'll be able to continuously keep um, pinning different charts till even you get to 30 and more than so now that you have these messages pinned in your whatsapp whenever you come on whatsapp they are the first messages you are they have the first charts that you're going to see so you don't have to scroll through and through and through to actually find them okay so this method is very easy maybe you're looking at it now it seems hard just take time to study the video understand what i did do it and you see you will get the exact same result and maybe you try that method and you think this is hard i can't do it then you follow me through as i show you the second way that you can also do this you get the messages the charts that you always want to reach at the top of your charts of your whatsapp charts so the way we are going to do that is using the archive all right so if you look at the top of my screen here here you're going to see archived now if i open it you're going to see that i have archived some messages you see that some messages here have been archived so i can easily come to my phone click on this archived and then i just um go to any chat i want here and then chat with the person or drop my message in the group this way i don't have to struggle if i just want to send any message to my groups like these are all the groups i have i have many more so if i want to send messages to these groups i just type the message open each of the group send the message come back open the next one just send the message before you know it i am through so i don't have to go through um i paste the one then i start scrolling through my whatsapp again to look for the others or i start searching from here to type and look for others that is so stressful so how do you do this you come into your whatsapp as i'm in my whatsapp right now so you have to go through your phone and then start selecting those messages that you want to um that you want to archive those charts okay so you just each one that you see just had click on click on them let's say these are the messages i want to archive i'll just click on them click on them when you have finished selecting the charts that you want to archive then you come to these three dots at the top of your screen at the top right of my screen as i'm showing you here now you come to the three dots then click on it and you're going to see archive charts all right so you're just going to click on archive charts here and once you click on it those charts will be archived and whenever you come to your phone the archive chart will be at the top and whenever you receive any message in any of those archive charts it's going to be showing here like you can see here there is one there is a one here showing that i have one message in this archive archived area so once i click on it i'll be able to see that 
you see i have a message in this group so you will be able to go through your archives once and for all you'll be able to you know assess the charts i think this method is simpler is simpler right so if you want to unarchive them you simply just click on those charts and just select them select them again and then you click on this arrow here on archive this box here and then you on archive that and that is it so you've done that this is the second method and what about the third way that you can easily reach your important charts what is another way that you can do this another way you can do this is by the method i'm going to show you now so when you come into your whatsapp let's say um this um contact here Let's say this contact here, I'm having an important discussion with this contact or I always want to assess this contact easily. So the simple thing I do is that I had click on this particular contact, click at the three dots here, all right, and I click on add charts to shortcut, add charts to shortcut, I'll click on it, all right? So it says add to home screen. I'll just click on it to add so i can still go on and on maybe my groups this group i want to add it to um a shortcut i want to create a shortcut for it i'll just add click on it and click on add charts to shortcuts and i'll click on add here so let's say this group again maybe i want to stay add it i'll follow the same procedure i'll had click on it <coughs> And then click at these three dots here and click on add charts to shortcuts and i'll click on add here so i can do the same thing for all the charts i always want to assess now when you have done this how do you locate this chart it's very easy i'm going to minimize now and i'm going to my home screen you see all this has appeared here in my home screen so it's will when you add um the chart uh, shortcut they appear on your home screen so instead of you going into whatsapp to start scrolling to look for these people you can simply go into the group from the screen for instance this group that is here now once i click on it it opens into the group you see that so i can paste anything i want to paste here so um and that is it for instance this person i want to chat with vera now i'll just click on her profile and i'm inside of our inbox and that is the same way you can add the your charts to shortcuts and you can simply arrange them you can simply arrange them here in your screen so you can easily you know locate them once you open your phone you just come here click on anyone and you are good to go so what if you are through you don't need these shortcuts again in your phone you simply had click on them and then you click on remove so that has gone you simply had click and had click on each one and then you click on remove had click on each one and then you click on remove and that is it guys i believe i've been able to show you three productivity hacks that will help you to easily assess most your most important charts on whatsapp without having to scroll through your whatsapp or search keep searching and searching and searching on whatsapp so go ahead let me know in the comments which of these productivity hats are you going to try or which of them worked for you let me know in the comments and also if you love this series do well to give me a like subscribe to my channel if you have not yes subscribe subscribe do that now thank you and also if there is anything you want to learn when it comes to whatsapp marketing do well to let me know in the comments who knows i will read through and i will pick them i might talk about it in one of these series remember this series comes up every friday 8 o'clock pm nigerian time 8 o'clock pm nigerian time and i will see you next week friday thank you for joining me tonight if you have questions you can always ask me your questions thank you